Good morning, this is Corey with TheAbundantArtist.com and today I want to talk to you about adding audio and video content to your website. Now the important thing about adding audio and video content to your website is that when you uh, make yourself uh, available visibly to customers and available uh, auditorily to your customers, you're reaching people in a completely different way than your visual art, than your paintings or your sculptures or anything else that you're doing. And some people really like uh, audio and video content and they're going to be much more likely to purchase your work if they can see who you are and, and how you interact with, uh, with them visually. Also showing video content of your paintings and your other art um, is a different way of showing off your work on your website than a static picture and people can get a, a much clearer idea of what your stuff is and how it works. Um, so what I want to do is I want to show you a few tools that you can use to add audio and video content to your website. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is if you're going to create audio content, uh, then you need to record it. So uh, you might record yourself talking about a painting or talking about a sculpture and why uh, you created it, what your inspiration was for it. You might do an interview with uh, somebody, with a, a journalist or a reporter of some kind, and uh, you might want to record that and post it to your website. Um, the easiest thing to do is to use a free software called Audacity, and I'm going to show you Audacity here in just a second. So as you can see, Audacity is uh, fairly simple and straightforward. All you do is hit the record button and talk, and you see it'll catch your voice as you go along. And you just hit stop when you're done, and then all you have to do is hit save as, and it'll export an MP3 player, or ex excuse me, export an MP3 file. Now to do this, you'll need some sort of microphone. You can get inexpensive microphones from Amazon.com for less than about 20 bucks. Um, although if you want a higher quality audio, you can spend a little bit more. Now what do you, how do you get this file onto your website? Once you've saved the MP3 file from Audacity, all you do is go to your web host, and in this case I use Bluehost, click on File Manager, and that'll take you to your files here. And you're going to add a new file called audio. And I already have one, so I'm not going to create, click create new folder, but you would normally click create new folder. And then you've got your audio file here. And then all you're going to do is click upload. And it's just like adding an attachment to your email. It's that simple. Now to get it to play on your website, you'll need some sort of audio player. If you're using WordPress, I recommend using WP Audio. And you're just going to go ahead and say install that WP Audio MP3 player. And then whenever you want to add audio to any new site, all you're going to do is say add a new post. And then just like adding any other image to your WordPress page, all you're going to do is find that audio recording and say insert into post right here. and then hit publish and you're done. Okay, now let's talk about video for a little bit. Video is obviously very, very powerful and videos tend to uh, get shared around on the web a lot. So, how do you record good video and how do you get that video onto your site? The first step is I use a camera called the Kodak ZI8. And you can see this camera here on Amazon it's $450, and what it does is it shoots HD video from the palm of your hand. So you can literally just hold the camera up and point and shoot, and it will record your video. Um, it also takes uh, SD cards, so you can add additional memory, and uh, it also takes a plug-in microphone, so if you want to plug in your high-quality mic to the camera, uh, you can do that as well. Now, once you've got the camera, um, and once you've got the video recorded, 
I use iMovie to uh, edit, the, edit the video and to export it. And once I have the video done, how do you put the, get that onto your site? Well, the easiest way to do it is to just go ahead and upload that video to YouTube. And again, this is just like adding an attachment to an email. It's very simple. And it'll take a few minutes for a video to upload. Now let's say that um, you've got video that is long. Maybe it's half an hour to an hour long. My favorite place to host video is Vimeo.com. YouTube's great for short videos, but Vimeo plays long videos in high quality. You'll see filmmakers and documentary makers and other um, video storytellers using Vimeo to upload their videos because Vimeo uh, does a great job of hosting high quality video. And I pay for the Vimeo Pro tool, which allows me to limit the videos that are, the, the limit the pages that videos are embedded on to just the pages that I want. Vimeo is full of all kinds of neat tools and I really like it a lot. So with Vimeo, all you do, with Vimeo and YouTube, all you do to get the video onto your site is you're just going to, let's go ahead and grab one of my videos. And all you do is hit share, embed, and you just copy that code, and then switch over to the HTML editor section on your WordPress page, and paste in that, uh, that YouTube embed code, or that Vimeo embed code, and hit publish, and you're done talk for a second about how when, when we upload a video to YouTube or Vimeo how you name it and how you put a description together so let's say that this video was a video of one of your pieces of art and maybe you're standing there talking about it about how you painted it what the background is and uh, what uh, and, and, and how you picture it going out to, to into the world so the title is going to be extremely important because YouTube is a giant search engine. It's the second most popular search engine after Google. And the title is going to tell YouTube what your video is about, okay? So let's say, for example, as, as we mentioned that this video is about you, um, then you're going to say your name, and then name of your painting, and then uh, probably maybe, uh, I don't know, gallery, or uh, gallery showing, or introduction, something like that. And then in the description, you're going to add a link to the page that you have the piece of art on your website. So let's say, um, you know, yoursite.com slash page your art is on. And then you're going to add some text. Add some text about your video and about the subject of your video. So I would go here. I would go ahead and add a description of your of your painting, what it's about, um, your inspiration for it, what it's made on, and, and purchasing information. And then go ahead and add some tags, just like you would um, with, with any other uh, blog post or video. And then go ahead and hit publish. Doing this, doing a good job of tagging and uh, adding text information about your video is what's going to make that video show up better in search results. Have a great day.